What is going on, Coach Spotters? This is Alex, and we are at Bush Gardens, Williamsburg for the Halloween Harvest. Uh, I have two sessions. Currently, it's the 11 a session, and I also have the uh, 5 o'clock session. So I'll be joined with the Southerner, Jason, for the first session. So we'll see him in a little bit. Uh, we're also going to show you uh, Pantheon. We saw it uh, over a year now when it was just footers, uh, and now it's uh, pretty much completely constructed. Walking in, it looks like they are already pretty much ready for a Christmas event, which I'm hoping to get to on a, a little southern run later in December. But uh, yeah, both sessions today, each are four hours. So we have a lot of good coasters here. We have the Loch Ness Monster, we have Apollo's Chariot, Tempesto, Emperor Bolton. So that is a really good lineup for uh, uh, just coming down here for the day. Five hour, one way trip, uh, doing it all in one day. Wanted to meet up with friends today. That's the reason I did this. Otherwise, I definitely would not be coming down here just for uh, like half or maybe a third of the park. So here we can see pretty much everything they have going on for this Halloween harvest. And uh, I'm gonna head straight over to Apollo and we are gonna show you, as I said, in a separate video, which I will link above, showing off Pantheon in its uh, pretty much completed form. So when the pandemic hit, it was pretty much about ready to test. So all that really needs to be done is some uh, station work and queue work and uh, all that stuff. So looking forward to riding that next year. If you haven't seen it already, went to SeaWorld Texas, have a vlog and lots of POVs out from there. And uh, got my pass there for $180, $170 tax included. So I have a year of the SeaWorld parts. So yeah, look forward to uh, all those rides that were supposed to open last year and vlogs next year. But today we're just gonna be here. We're also just pretty much gonna be on the GoPro most of the day. Just brought the camera in, the big camera in just to film uh, Pantheon. And then uh, just gonna be on the GoPro uh, because I just wanna hang and chill. So I apologize in advance if the audio is, uh, has issues. So I get the park just open, but it just, it seems so eerie being how quiet it is. Yeah. So, originally this was event was limited, I think all these limited events were uh, limited to 1,000, but at some point, uh, I think recently, it's been changed to uh, 3,000. But I'm still not worried. I had to talk about Apollo today. Okay. We took, we rode to Apollo twice, right? Twice. The Southerner is here yeah. in his native southernness. I didn't, oh, yeah. Kind of. But uh, that was running really good, that first ride. Front seat, not so good. 
Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's just a gentle, nice, smooth, graceful ride. It's just, it's yeah. Just, it's just great fun. It's grown on me over the years. I used to absolutely hate it. No, hate is a strong word. Very strong word. I thought there were better ones available. I do want a beer. I think the ride will bolt and then it might be time for a beer. I had two coffee beers in my car. I think I'm going to drink... Uh, I've got six of those Hershey's Yinling Porters. I think I'm going to drink in between the sessions, so uh, I'm high and flying for session two. There you go. Not high, um, just flying. Yeah. So, yeah, we rode Da Vinci's Cradle last night, oh. just so you know. It doesn't go around all the way anymore. What? Just once. Yes. Just once. You only get one swing. And it, and it doesn't do anything, probably, right? Which was a good thing. I mean, it rocks. I was, like, not doing well. It rocks back and forth. It's fine. But, I mean, it, it was better when it did the whole the whole circuit. Yeah. Uh, you know? I think they've just had to do that so it doesn't tear itself apart because all the other ones are gone. Yeah, that's old. Yeah. You know what's also gone that's sad? What? Kangaroo. I know that's going. I'm, 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 the, the kangaroo is upsetting, but what I'm really upset Bay with is curve. that Baron curve. Actually, because... apparently it's pronounced. So watch a uh, video where a German guy collaborated, and he's like, it's actually a Byron curve. Byron? For yeah. German pronunciation. Because now we only got one Byron curve left. And apparently, it's... though, I didn't see it for myself when I was at Knobles a few weeks ago, uh -huh. but apparently there is one sitting in the parking lot. Oh, really? Wow, you turned your head quickly. Yeah. You were like, holy crap. <laughs> Well, because I could see that Knobles is going to run a barn curve like Kennywood did. And um, that so. would be cool, man. But, but the, I'm one surprised. At, the one in Great America is kind of flat. It's still so. fun, though. It's still fun. It is still fun. It, we're doing the Verbolton, and. Um, we're about to go far. Yes, yes, but. Uh, you were very. Is not telling us to fall. You were very happy when I lost some footage ear earlier this year on oh. Leap the Dips. Uh, but uh, if something happens, we'll be able to recreate what happened that day that I was never able to share with the audience. Are you ready for an adventure? And I get off of it, and my pants are ripped from here to here. And once again, <laughs> apparently you have a rip starting. Jason, this is like the fifth time. What is wrong with you and your pants? Rip that you're talking about? <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Well, you never know with this man. Okay, I think we have a choice where we want to go. This is great. I just can't get over this, uh, these fall colors. Beautiful. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And usually it'd be closed. And usually they come in the beginning of October, so it they were, they really were hasn't just done much yet. last week at Six Flags St. Louis, if not just a little bit. I pretty. know, I edited your photos for I you. Know. I became your photo editor overnight, or in a matter of seconds. They apparently. had a little more yellow out there, but they certainly had the oranges and reds that they do out here. It's very, it's very cool. Yeah. I, I'm like the foil. Look at that. Look at I that know, beautiful. I know. I got some nice <laughs> zoom ins of that that I'll insert right now. And I'm, look at, I mean, like I said, we were here last night, we could not see that, but look at that overbound. I know. It's going to look like you're just going to go towards the, uh, like it's going to dip you out of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to freak some people out a little bit, I think. 
<laughs> I'm really hoping things normalize next year that we either can learn to live with this or we have a treatment or something because I'm ready. I mean, 2020 was a good year for me for college. I mean, I got a lot done. Yeah, and I, I did stuff I, I, I hadn't been planning on doing for a few years because I had planned on doing a little bit more Europe travel. Yeah. Or you know overseas travel, so I mean, but I'm, I'm and I don't, but I don't know if that's going to be a possible. Well, let's not speculate on all that stuff. But I'm hopefully ready, next year. I'm ready for a normal season next year, and even if Bush Garden does what they're doing this year, where they have these little festivals, I enjoyed this because it's a limited capacity. Yeah, it's, it's worth the trip. It You're is. saying this is way busier than last night, though. It is, and it, but it's not busy. It's not that busy. No, know? I mean we're waiting like five. 10 minutes, 10 minutes to get on stuff. It's not that bad. Yeah. So. And you don't have to really worry about killing yourself because you only have half the park. Right. Whereas before you'd be like, what do you want to ride next? It's like, what do you want to ride next? Oh, okay, the other three coasters, no big deal. Well, this little bar here has some great things on tap. So oh, okay. Dare to enjoy your ride on on your face. on Goliath. I am? Yes. Very good. I think I'm not Did you notice the big water fountain that spray that went on during the bottom of the first drop? And yeah, that one thing? That's like an effect. I've never noticed that ever. Really? No. I, maybe they've been doing it for the last 20 years because of Fabio. Yeah, yeah, I felt that. But I haven't felt that before. I, I don't know if that's... Maybe they have some bird issues again. Push up right. on your harness and yeah, exit quickly more and carefully issues. to your right. Oh, Fabio. What's up with him these days? Time for the classic! Loch Ness Monster. Let's do this. In the most beautiful setting I have ever ridden this ride. Oh my god, front seat, let's go get that POV.
42 years. Same age as me? God. <laughs> This should be the official POV this time of the year. Oh my goodness. So cool. So pretty. Round two. Let's go, Nessie. Oh my God, it's so freaking gorgeous. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. How oh magnificent. Balls on your face. Straight ball. Whoa! This is a nice fan. Yeah! Oh, Woo! baby! Whoa! Coming from a barnstormer land, that's awesome. Really? You think that's way really better? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. The theming is better on barnstormer, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I'm sorry, that looks like carnival. Yeah, yeah. The setting is better here. Yeah, they really... Yeah, that was a good placement of the ride. Probably one of the best places. Oh, you know, there's one ride that's better. The giant canyon swing at Glenwood Caverns. Check out that vlog coming soon and the POV. Already done a lot of cool stuff, got a lot of beer, and we're now about to ride the Zaire. Or The Verbolton to go to the Will dark you stand forest. On your social distancing <laughs> Ooh. 
I guess I don't know you. <laughs> we're, we're leaving the cabin pretty early on Sunday. Because Kyle's got to be somewhere on Sunday. Well, then we'll head out around 11. So let's imagine, like... Good cheese. I did, I'd say. At least. At least. We did everything. Yeah. Had a fantastic um, day. Hey, by the way, this is kind of a cool thing to put on your video. Oh, okay. So, you know, I come from Buffalo, New York. Ooh. I'm a 1996 graduate of St. Joseph's Collegiate Institute. Okay. I would like to point out that the current park president for Bush Gardens Williamsburg is a 1995. Um, graduate of St. Joseph's Collegiate Institute. So they're practically New York. friends. Well, I don't even know who he, he is. Pushed him into <laughs> However, <laughs> however, he is the park president from the same high school that I was from here in Buffalo, New York. So in the or in Buffalo, New York. So isn't that kind of cool? That's cool. All right. So uh, yeah, I had a great time with you too. And uh, thanks you for being You got another enough. session. I do. Unfortunately, we got to drive back to Chattanooga, eight hours and 30 minutes. Yeah, mine's not much better though. Well. All right, so that's going to be it for the first session. We Just hanging out in the parking lot, waiting for uh, session number two, drinking some beers. Got the uh, Victory Brewing Java Latte coffee, so give me a little bit of boost. And then uh, Jason was nice enough to give me one of his Hershey Yingling Quarters. So just beautiful foliage out here and uh excited to go back in it is 4 30. going in for session number two so excited uh sad to see my friends go but excited to uh just marathon i don't think it will be nearly as crowded tonight once again sorry for the audio on the gopro it is what it is it's definitely a creepier feeling the music is creepy uh, I, I assume there's going to be uh, scare actors tonight, so uh, that's going to be very fun. So obviously during the day it's very family friendly. During the night, the freaks come out to play. So let's go back inside. It's a very weird feeling to go back inside. Although I guess if you go on the Carowinds or anywhere else, that's, that's, the, that's par for the course. So let's go inside, Bush Gardens Williamsburg for Halloween harvest. We went for three rides on Nessie and it is running incredible. But now we're over at Finnick and Flyer, so we'll give you a POV of that. And uh, it, it is definitely weird being here for the second session. I mean, I don't know what I was supposed to expect, but it is definitely a weird feeling being here for the uh, second time today. You know, it feels like two days compressed into one. Half the park is open, but at the same time, it's really great because there's like nobody here. It's uh, especially since this is free with annual pass, that's great. All right, here we go Finnegan's Flyer, the SNS screaming swing over a cliff or hillside, rather. Beautiful sunset tonight at Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Air time for days! Yes! Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. 
too soon though. Alright, unfortunately no off-road video because Finnegan Slyer broke down. But just look at that sky. Um, Absolutely gorgeous. Alright, I'm feeling stupid. Let's go ride the Grover Coaster. Haven't done that in years. Why not? It will probably seem way more exciting. Slightly inebriated than normal. Grover Coaster, woo! It's actually a thing is not exactly all that boring, but it's uh, not that exciting either. All right, Grover Coaster, Kitty Coaster at Bush Gardens, Williamsburg. Woo! I've been wanting to do a little bit of food tasting here. We're just gonna do one today, German meatballs, 650, and then with the discount, it should put it back down to about $5, and we'll see how it is. All right, here we go with the German meatballs. Uh, they look fantastic, let's give them a try. And I gotta say, the, the lady who served me, she could have been nicer, she was from Pennsylvania, and she absolutely loved Knobles. I had my Knobles sweatshirt on, and I just love to spread the joy of Knobles. Uh, it's definitely, you know, a one-of-a-kind place. Go check out the many vlogs that we've done from Knobles. All right, German meatballs. Um, pretty standard meatball as far as the uh, texture and the taste of the meatball itself. But the lemon sauce is very satisfying. And um, um, $5, and uh, I feel like I needed a snack for $5. You know what? That's what a meal at, you know, McDonald's would cost. I, not even would cost. So... Um, this will get me through the rest of the night, and I'm very happy with my purchase. Um, funds up, and uh, I love Germany. Okay, didn't film it because it's dark as can be, and it wouldn't matter, but Night Rides on Apollo, oh my god, it's so good. Uh, better than I ever remember, and uh, that was fantastic. We're going to film all the way to Revolton to see if anybody uh, scares the living uh, poop out of me. Uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a, a good night. Still got three hours left, and the park is spooky. The park is not as crowded. It's still not dead, though. I don't think it's as dead as the uh, eight to midnight session that my friends had last night, but it is definitely not crowded. All right. Um, ended up with a pretzel dog. It's pretty much gone at this point. It's pretty much going to be it. I'm going to wrap it up later on. But uh, night rides on Nessie are going to be amazing. All the lights are off, as such is for Bro Bolton. And uh, it's just a fantastic night here at, um, at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. Uh, I, uh, I give this park some a lot of criticism recently because of two removals that were very hard on me. You know, Big Bad Wolf, and to a lesser extent, uh, Curse of Dark Castle. But, and then uh, I, I don't like the fact that some of the recent additions they have had it haven't had a really immersive theming like some other additions. So that's been very disappointing, but in the long run, uh, this is a fantastic park. You know, I... In a vlog that I will eventually release, uh, you'll see how I compare Europa to this place. It's about 8.35, so we have 25 minutes left. As tradition for me, you start the day, you end the day with the classic Loch Ness Monster. Just did 15 rides today on Apollo, which is by far the most I have ever done. Like, probably a few years combined, I haven't done 15 rides. I've never been a big fan of it. But today, it was just hauling, so smooth, so dark. But even our day rides were absolutely fantastic. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Apollo, but today it was uh, very high on my B&M Hyperlist, or just Hyperlist in general, which it's very low typically. Not a bad ride ever. Just never rated it very high. So gonna end this with as many rides on Nessie as possible. All right. Ended up with just three rides and the night. I had to walk around every time and uh, I made the critical mistake of forgetting to bring the 
painkillers in case I uh, were to get a headache from rotting too much or uh, drinking too much or a combination of the both. So uh, yeah, three rides on Nessie and that was about enough. Uh, I had to walk around there every time and uh, the fourth time I, I could have gone again, but I uh, just called it. Uh, Nessie's running nice. It's a little rough, but I love it. And uh, I was uh, hesitant to come to this event because I didn't, I mean, with only the four coasters, it was like, do I really want to come down? But after getting the SeaWorld San Antonio Pass and this being free, yeah, why not? It was great. It was great to meet friends. And that's why I reason I really came. And uh, uh, I'm happy they're able to do what they can this year. Uh, it's unfair that the state has such ridiculous requirements of them and limitations, but that's another conversation. Either way, they're doing the best they can as far as all the COVID precautions. I think they did a really good job and I really enjoyed my stay here. So thank you so much for watching The Coaster Spot. This has been Alex. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.